Uh, okay, let's move on now. We're going to turn the clock back 200 years to one of the darkest chapters in Manchester's history that's being told in a major new film that I can't wait to see. Mm. 18 people died and hundreds were injured during what was supposed to be a peaceful protest in the city. It became known as the Peterloo Massacre. The film, which is directed by the one and only Mike Lee and stars the one and only Maxine Peep, will be released early next month. Tonight, the film's premiere is taking place in Manchester. We can join our man Tim Scott, who is there on the red carpet. Tim, what can you tell us? Yes, well, as you've heard there, Peterloo, a terrible day in this country's history. Innocent men, women and children cut down by soldiers on horseback during a peaceful protest, a protest to put more food on the table, a protest for better wages, a protest to get more representation in Parliament. And now we have Peterloo, the movie, directed by Mike Lee and telling in great detail the events that led up to that massacre 200 years ago. Tonight, of course, it gets its premiere here at home in Manchester. A film about one of the darkest days in Manchester's and our nation's history, the Peterloo Massacre of 1819. At least 18 people were killed when soldiers charged at unarmed demonstrators in St Peter's Field. Demonstrators who were calling for the vote for working people and an end to the repression of the rich mill owners and the government. But what good is a parliament if it does not represent its people? What right do these men have with this money when those they have robbed are starving for want? They have no right, no right at all! One man, one vote. Oh, Parliamentary God. representation. Preposterous proposition. William Files, age two, was the first victim of Peterloo. Manchester has commemorated the massacre down the years, the victims' names being read out on the site where it happened. Martin Gittens is from the Memorial Society named after Peterloo. He watched the film this morning. It's a bit of a juggernaut, isn't it? It's, it's a huge, sweeping... Enthralling film. It, it deals with the subject matter very, very well. It hopefully will encourage people to go out and find out more. It will um, give people a chance to bring it all together. We are on the brink of liberty. Peterloo, directed by Mike Lee, goes on general release next month. Well, earlier today I was lucky enough to bag five minutes with the director of Peterloo, Mike Lee. I began by asking him how this whole project came together in the first place. First of all, the interesting thing is that I, like a lot of people that grew up in the Manchester area, didn't really know about it growing up. I can't remember, I, I read about it somewhere along the line, whenever. And it really wasn't until we'd made Mr. Turner that for no particular reason, it suddenly occurred to me that this was a potential subject for a movie. And especially, not least, because uh, the bicentenary. I was, I was aware that it was going to happen in 1819, obviously, but um, as soon as we started working on it, it became, on a daily basis, we started to say, this is really relevant to now. Well, joining me now is the artistic director of Home, Jason Wood. Jason, take it you've seen the film? Yes, it's incredible. Yeah, we saw it in the press preview today. A lot has been made about the contemporary relevance. Events of 200 years ago, relevant to 2018. Would you agree with that? What do you say to that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you walk around Manchester City Centre at night and you see homeless people. And I think that what this film does is it highlights the difference between those that have, those that have not, those that are in power, those that don't have power, those that have food and those that don't have food. And I think it's also really important because we're at a time in our culture where what little power we have, we have to exercise. And it reminds you what people went through to get the vote in this country. And it reminds us that now we have the ability to vote, we must use that responsibility and take that responsibility really seriously. The language in the film is the language that people will have spoken 200 years ago. Some people might have a little bit of trouble with that, but do you think that it's good that they've stuck with that? They haven't updated it too much? Yeah, and I think it's brilliant as well because it's a film about working class issues. And I think Mike Lee has been brilliant in the way he's used Northern actors. I think quite often we see 
actors from the south playing northern parts and it's only quite right that northern actors should get these parts and I think they're all brilliant in it and I think nobody else except Mike Lee could have made a film like this his track record as a filmmaker historical pictures like Mr Turner and Topsy Turvey but also he's a filmmaker that's really attuned to issues relating to class and the dichotomy between the rich and the poor and I think this is a film for our times and I think people will really appreciate it when they see it we know the film leads up to that awful massacre at the end. I don't think we're giving too much away there. You come away from the film, I did, I, I, you come away quite angry that something so terrible could be allowed to happen by the powers that be. Is that something you, you'd agree with? Yeah, but I mean, if you if I think you look at the events that are happening today, these events still happen. You know, you look at people being sent to prison, sent to refugee camps. These are issues that still carry on, and I think they're issues related to the corruption of government and abuses of power. And this is why I think that people will see this film and really see a reflection of the times in which we live today. It's also wonderful to look at, let's not forget. Yeah, I mean, it's shot by Dick Pope, who's been Mike Lee's cinematographer for many, many years. I mean, a lot of the regular collaborators on this, you know, the, the, the guy that does the sound, the production designer, the producer, Georgina Lowe, they're all people that work with Mike for many years. It's an incredible achievement. Jason, thank you so much. If you get a chance to go and see this film, do make the effort. It's well worth it. Back to you. Tim, thanks very much indeed yeah, for that. I'll definitely be going to see that one. Sounds uh, absolutely brilliant. And Northern Actors, what a great idea to tell a Northern story. Absolutely. You?